Hey YouTube, this is Backcountry Outdoors and we're going to do a little painting today and go over some stuff that I do uh, as far as stencils goes and how I cut them and what I do with them. Uh, I'm hoping to do a few videos here pretty soon of how I cut them out with a Cricut. Uh, but for simplicity, I'm going to show you some that I've cut out with just old playing cards and a Zacto knife. Uh, a lot of this is just practice. you got to do a lot of practice. Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Uh, the more you practice, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Uh, we're going to go over it. And also, uh, I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups too, and a lot of folks asking about paints and how they, what type of paints you got to use and this and this. Any acrylic paints, you can use if you can thin it you can spray it that's the way it goes and i use just water you can use a thousand different thinners that they make out there i use distilled water to thin all my paints and it works just fine the main application that makes the most in this is going to be your clear coat that's the reason why i use kbs it's easy it's simple and it does a good job like i said in previous videos i may go to the loom light but i've got to use it and do some stuff with it before i switch over but i'm going to show you where usually i thin out my paints off camera i'm going to use some of this cheap walmart paint and show you how i thin it down today also hope you enjoy Okay, we got some distilled water in our little dropper bottle. Got a little, little needle on it. That's what I use. Got us a mix and cut. And we're going to pour us a little paint in there. And you can see this stuff is thick. Got us a handy dandy mixer. Put us a little water in there. And mix it around. Then I get a little on there. You want it about the consistency of milk. And it will spray through the airbrush pretty good. And I'm using, a lot of times when I'm, I'm doing my first coat, my base coat, I'm using my Revolution, which is uh, has the 0.5 needle in it, and it makes it easier to spray thicker paints out of. Makes it a whole lot easier, to be honest with you, the bigger the needle. But if you're using something with a 3, 0.3 needle or... You're using the Iwatas with the 3.5. If you get it to the consistency of milk, you're gonna it's gonna spray good. And that's pretty close there. That's about the consistency of milk. Put that in our airbrush.
put this on silent. And the old cheap paint I cover just as good as the expensive paint. It's all in thinning the paints. Alright, we'll get the next color loaded up and we'll keep going. Alright, the next color we got, we're going to be spraying some of the Amazon fluorescent green. This is Amazon cheap paint. It is airbrush ready to use it's pre-thinned i usually don't have to thin this stuff and it sprays good i'm using the uh i water eclipse and we're going to cover the top side of this bait with this and we're going to go down about the center line Coat him up pretty good. Get him good and dark. Got him all fluorescent up there. All right, we'll get another color loaded up and we'll continue on. Okay, next color we got up on the list is we got some wicked yellow. It's the detail yellow. And it is Createx. It's some of the more expensive paint. This is 649 at Hobby Lobby. And the Wicked brands of paints, you will have to thin. Uh, they're a little thick. Uh, the transparents, I usually don't have to thin those. But I, the Wicked, I usually have to thin those to get them to spray the way I want to. You can probably spray them through the 05 and do good, but using the Iwata Eclipse and I do have to thin it down and we're going to spray this belly with this wicked yellow and we're going to come up in and fade into that green With a lot of the Createx brands, you do get better coverage with those. They cover a lot better, especially the Wiki paints. I, I love those. They work really good. The more expensive paints, they work 
the way they're intended to. The more you pay, the more it works better. But as far as base coating, why not use Apple Barrel White? It's very cheap and it covers. You're just using it for a base coat. It does good for a base coat. All right, we'll get the next color loaded up and we'll get right back to you. All right, we got some black loaded up in the GSI Creos. This is, has a 1.5 needle in it. And what we have done, we kind of cut out a little perch pattern here out of an old playing card. What I like to do is I'll take one of these blanks and lay it down and I'll trace out on a playing card with a marker and I'll trace it out and then I'll take my X-Acto knife and I'll make some kind of pattern. Take my X-Acto knife, I'll cut it out and then it's ready to use. I also, I kind of bend Bend, once I get them cut, I kind of bend them, curve them just a little bit. That way they fit on the bait better. That way they ain't sticking off the bait and they kind of hug a little better. And once once you spray one side, you have to bend it back to spray the other side. So these, they don't last forever, but they will last you a long time uh, spraying them. set it on there like that right there get it up there and get it on there kind of match it up just a little And it gives us a little pattern like that. Turn around. And bend it the other way. gives us another pattern same as on my other side we'll take we'll darken this back up and try a little lines right there and you can I cut this out real quick because mainly I don't use that pattern a lot but it's an easy pattern to cut out I figured it was easy for me to show you I can cut a pattern. Really quick, really simple, really easy.
And just like that, we got a little, got us a little pattern going. If you need to darken them up a little bit once you surround, you have the lines now, so it's a lot easier. I can go in with this thing and fill in a little bit if I want to. It's a real easy, just a little easy pattern to do. And show you how I do things. And sometimes, I'm going to show you something else I do a lot of too. If I want to practice with something, I'll grab a blank. And see how small I can get dots on something or anything like that. I'll, I can try. I'll just grab a blank and grab, throw some airbrush paint in and practice. See, see if I can do it. Just like on anything else. Practice, practice, practice. It's all about the practice. You're going to have 150,000 things you do that's not going to work out the way you want them to. And then you'll find something that just works perfect. It's all trial and error. Trial and error. And that's what I'm trying to help y'all with is what I failed on and what you can do better on and that's my tip for today I'll get her dipped in some KBS and we'll get a look at her all right we got our KBS ready and we're just going to dip it down If you want to, you can put more lines on the stencil, you know, however how you want to work it. Whatever you want to do to make it look good. Well, that concludes that one a little perch pattern I guess you would call it I hope that answers some of your questions if it doesn't we're going to keep going there be tons of stuff I do on here that I'll show you more uh, like I say I want to get my wife's little cricket out I use it a lot and a circuit whatever you want to call the thing uh, she got three or four of them and uh, we'll cut some patterns out with it that I like to use and hopefully it'll answer even more questions if you have access to one but a lot of people don't so that's really why i show you you know you can cut them with an exacto knife you know anything you can imagine to cut uh, you can cut it a lot of my scale patterns that i use on these cross stitch patterns like this stuff here you can get at walmart uh it's just netting material and it makes good scale patterns. Uh, I got another one here. This one come from Hobby Lobby for little or nothing. Uh, I think I got another one right here. This is just some ribbon. And if you watched my crappie tutorial, how to paint easy crappie, this is what I use for the stencil on it. And it's just a ribbon that comes in a roll that I buy and I just cut it, put it on here, cut the ends, and you got yourself a little stencil. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all of you watching and uh, hope you learning, hopefully you're learning something. Uh, I enjoy doing it and hope you enjoy watching Backcountry out.